Oh, they probably do know you. Or people that just not tuning in. Mm -hmm. Now they understand that uh, you are a producer. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what made you fall in love with music? What mm -hmm. what were you listening to? What what was the what was the song or what back in your past and you like, I wanna do this forever. Like I wanna I wanna I wanna make this a career out of making music for people. Um, well, I always love music. I'm sure like you know, we come in, we be in the womb loving music. So mm -hmm. it wasn't the the, 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 the thing that I, I can really remember uh, that made me want to get into it was, I don't even know if you remember the box it used to come on uh, mm -hmm. like regular TV way back in the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was I was younger and uh, Swiss Beats was making a beat for the Rough Riders. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it, and I didn't necessarily know what it was, that what he was doing. But when I seen him doing it, I'm like, yo, whatever homie doing, I want to figure out how to do shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I still wasn't, you know, into it just yet. My cousin Marco uh, um, was making beats on what was a DR5 at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was really dope at, at doing it and rapping. And I would yeah. see him do it and, and he would, you know, be sitting there, man, he'd be high after he come come back in from kicking it with his friends. And I'd be seeing him watching over, you know, making making his beats and rapping. And when he would, you know, like go to sleep or he was done, I would spin the, the knob mm -hmm. and I would, you know, try to make a beat and I'd play it for him. And sometimes I'd race all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Be salty and shit. but um that was kind of like my first like little itch as far as wanting to get into it and do it. But um, um, I went into, uh, I actually was on my way to go play basketball because I used to hoop. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was waiting for one of my homies to come out to uh, uh, go hoop, I heard some music coming out of this church. Mm -hmm. And I don't, man, to this day it's crazy. Like I don't even know what told me to go in there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, Cause it was it was kind of unusual the type of sound like I knew it wasn't from a song I heard mm. so I went in there and this dude was in the back of the church sequencing and working on a, a beat on a synthesizer mm -hmm. and uh, I'm like yo like how you do that you know what I'm saying he was like oh man I just sequence it in and program it it was called a ZR76 mm -hmm. and uh I just stayed there for like six hours, just you know what I'm saying, learning how to how to sequence. And what was crazy about it was, I made a beat that day, and I remember like plenty of people coming into the church, like, "Yo, Nick, this, like, you did this." He's like, "No, nah, little dog did it." You know what I'm saying? And after I seen like people's response from that, and mm -hmm. that I, I like, I it was like I I knew I could do it before I, I even knew how to do it, if that makes sense. Okay. And after that, it was like he told me to, he told me the, the next piece of equipment he was about to get. He was like, "Yo, when I get some bread, I'm getting me a Triton." I didn't even know what a Triton was, and I said, "I'm getting one too." Okay. So that's that's what that's what I'm gonna ask you next. Like, what was the from from there? What was the next piece of equipment? So now, it was, yeah, it was a Triton. Which I now this is where. I remember, right, right. You know what I'm saying. This is where I I remember. So uh, us meeting, meeting and so it's interesting how we met is because of how I how I thought to get my Triton. So again, this is pre YouTube. You know what I'm saying. Not a mm -hmm. lot of information. So it was um, like two, it was like two thousand two something like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying. Like oh three maybe. Yeah. So my homie Zeke, I never forget. He had pulled up, man. He pulled up in this dusty brown whip, you know what I'm saying? And I remember he was just counting some cash. I'm like, you get all that money from? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was like, change check. So what the f is that? <laughs> so he like, when you go to school, you know what I'm saying? You sign up for school, they give you some bread back. You know what I'm saying? They buy your book, you know, you buy your books and all or whatever. And whatever's left over, you get the change. You, get the change. Yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. word. So I ain't gonna lie, man. The only thing I can remember thinking prior to me even having an itch for doing music was I was going to school to hoop. 